Look here, Tyree, Daddy said. He held the newspaper out so Tyree could get a look at the words there. Says maybe the Knicks are gonna win this year. That'll be something new, huh? Uh, the Knicks are an NBA basketball team um, from New York. Tyree climbed over the park bench, then climbed back to the side Daddy was on. He was 10 in the fourth grade and probably the best climber in the whole school. He wanted Daddy to see him, to watch him hang off the side of the bench like a monkey. He climbed up to the back and walked along the edge as it, of it like, a high, like it was a high wire. When he stepped over Daddy's head, Daddy glanced and smiled. Okay, so we traveled back into time. Um, we're with Tyree, the oldest brother, and he is 10 years old right now, so Dad is still alive. All right. Daddy glanced up and smiled. It was Sunday, cold enough to see your breath. They always came to Central Park on Sundays. Mama was at home taking care of Charlie and getting ready for the new baby that was coming. Tyree wanted his sister, cause he'd already gotten a brother and that wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Daddy'd said he'd wanted another boy cause you couldn't have too many boys. When he said this, Mama laughed and swatted him with whatever was close by. Mama said she got down on her knees and prayed for a girl some nights because she didn't know if she'd do it. She didn't know what she'd do if another little man showed up in her house. When they were laughing and teasing about the baby, Tyree didn't care if it ever came, just so long as his mama and daddy could keep on laughing and having a good time. He figured it was mama was probably about the prettiest woman in Manhattan. People said he looked just like her, but he didn't see himself as pretty. He hoped his new baby sister would be pretty like Mama. Look, Daddy, Tyree said. He was just a few feet away from his father dad, father now, high up in a leafless oak tree. Seemed he could look out and see the whole park from where he sat. Maybe if he went up higher, he could see the whole world. You sure can climb, Daddy said, and then went back to reading the paper. It was cold out and the air seemed to lift up under the heavy coat Tyree was wearing. He loved being cold. It made him feel electrified. Ooh, and electrified here doesn't mean like electricity, uh, but kinda, it means happy and energetic. So it almost feels like you have like electricity in your body. He loved feeling electrified. He sat down on a branch and let his feet dangle over the edge. His sneakers were white and new and he promised himself he'd never get them dirty. There were only a few people in the park. Way down there was a man playing with his two little kids, running in circles and making them chase him. The kids were squealing and grabbing his coat. He kept dodging them. There was a woman in a pink running outfit jogging around the lake. She had a big dog with her, and the dog was running right beside her. Tyree wished he could get a dog, maybe a mastiff. He'd seen one once. That was probably the biggest dog in the world. He'd even settled for a Doberman. Tyree heard somebody screaming. When he looked out towards the frozen lake, he saw the dog that had been running with the woman skidding out onto the lake. He held his breath. Even from where he sat, he could hear the deep crackle of the ice. Daddy, he screamed. The dog kicked out its front legs and then its back. Then it was sinking. Daddy, Tyree called it again. The dog gave a yelp and disappeared underneath the water for a moment. Then the woman was running out onto the ice screaming. Then she too was disappearing and reappearing, disappearing and reappearing. Tyree jumped down from the tree and ran over to his father who was, stand, who was, now, who was standing now and staring out at the water. You gotta help them, daddy, Tyree said out of breath. Daddy, that dog, that dog and lady. But his daddy was already running toward the water. Tyree watched his father break a branch off a tree and hold it out for the woman. But the branch snapped when the woman reached for it. Then his father was run running along the icy bank and slipped slowly into the water. Tyree screamed. The man who had been playing with the two kids was standing a bit away from him, holding the kid in each arm, shouting something. Then daddy was pulling the woman and the other dog out of the water. And far away, I could hear sirens. He looked down at his hands. Sirens and my own self screaming.